Hello, it's Meg here from Marketing for Breeders, and I just thought I'd do a bit of a, an update on what's happening with the dog industry at the moment, in particular puppy sales and puppy demand. I don't have to tell any of you who are active breeders at the moment that things are a bit grim um, as far as demand goes in the economy at the moment. So the first thing I want to share with you is um, Google Trends. Um, I'm just looking at Google Trends here, Google Trends for Western Australia, which is where I live. You can see this is the last two years that the demand for puppies in general, and there's not enough stats really to just do miniature schnauzers, which is my breed, but you can see it's gone from um, around about 94-ish down to about 32, so almost dropped by two-thirds as far as the active number of searches for puppies for sale that's going on on Google at the moment, which is pretty grim. And it's probably the worst in Western Australia for some reason than it is compared to other places. If we look at Australia as a whole, um, yeah, it looks pretty grim there too. 88 down to about 27, not quite as dramatic as what we've had in Western Australia, but still pretty bad. You can look at the United States. There's another example in the last two years. Actually, you know, it might be feeling pretty horrific there at the moment for you guys, but honestly, it's not as bad as it is here in Australia. So if we take that as kind of representative of what it was, 88, it's sort of down to about 43. So you've had a drop of about a half, but not two-thirds like we've had in Western Australia. So that's just some interesting stats. You can check it out yourself just by Googling Google Trends, and then you put your search term you want to put in there under Explore. So I thought I'd have a bit of a look at uh, the number of people who have joined my wait list in the last couple of years and see how that was tracking, and also a few other parameters that might interest you, including the results of some of my students in my program. I want to share it with you just so you can see the impact that good marketing and the elite breeder formula method actually makes on the results that you can get as a breeder. Okay, so this is the number of actual waiting list deposits, which are $500 that I've had into my account in the last two years. There's 127 of them. Um, I sell as part of a group for um, I call them my associates. So I do need all of these people. Of course, if it was just you and you didn't have this many puppies and you didn't live in such a small place like Western Australia is big, but there's only 2.4 million people in the whole of the state and we're the most isolated city in the world, the capital where most people live in Western Australia, about 90% of the population of Western Australia is in the capital city. So <clears throat> this is a pretty interesting test case um, and about 95% of the people who buy off me are actually in Western Australia. So I've managed to, in the last two years, get 127 people join my list from that small population. So I thought mm, the number of inquiries have been much lower than normal, definitely. They have dropped a lot. And I thought, oh, I'm starting to panic a little bit as far as, you know, getting people on the list because my breeders in my group are relying on me to get their puppies sold and find good owners for them at good prices. We are more expensive than everybody else on the market because we value add our pups. Uh, so I had a bit of an analysis of those um, deposits that you saw and it was very interesting. I'll just share this with you now. Very interesting to see that where is it show all windows there you go that i haven't actually had a drop in the number of people join the list overall one year to the next um this is the number over the last two years it went up it went down this is where we are right now um but you can see that you know there were 63 people join the list in um this year or the last 12 months, I should say, and there were 63 people joined the list in the previous uh, 12 months. So, you know, it's it's going okay, really. Um, nothing to really be worried about. So 
what I've been experiencing is that there's a lot fewer inquiries, but the inquiries that we are getting are more likely to actually join the waiting list. And this is the thing. There is a crowded market. There's too many breeders. There's way too many puppies on the market at the moment, but it's only crowded at the bottom and the middle sectors of the market. The top of the market is not really that crowded at all. Um, and let me prove it to you with some results that we've had from, from some of our um, students in our group. So one of them is this lady here, Veronica. Veronica has, this is our 1st of June. She sold 19 older puppies in just a few weeks from joining the program, which is pretty amazing. Um, and it's all about marketing and what you do with your pups. So the other one is this lady here. I just wanted to share you some highlights. Um, this is Sean. Sean attracted for this is of June 8th this year. John, Sean has attracted 43 people onto her waiting list, which is fantastic. Um, and another one I would like to share with you is Michelle. Here she is here. Michelle's very creative and um, has a kissing booth for puppies, but she wasn't actually selling them. She was just doing it to raise funds. But then she said she has placed 36 puppies at three and a half grand each since March this year. So that was of July the 18th. And that's in the USA, $3,500 for Bernese Mountain Dog Puppies, which is very, very cool. Some of you are surely asking yourself, is it even worth breeding at all? If you're going to end up with loads of puppies left over and you're going to be struggling even to give those puppies away, honestly, if you are not working to a secure, committed waiting list, you must have nerves of steel to continue breeding in the market the way it is now, especially if you haven't paid attention to the business side of your breeding, the marketing, the customer service and the quality assurance, which is what we teach in our program and you can learn for free about that, about what we do on the free Marketing for Breeders webinar. And uh, if you would like some help, personal help from myself afterwards, then I'd be really happy to talk to anybody for free, a uh, whole hour of my time just for you. So get to and find the link and um, watch the free masterclass. And I look forward to speaking to some of you later. Okay, bye for now.